vlog of today. Okay, so basically I had to leave my lecture because I'm waiting for a call of NHSX, which is like the digital innovation department of the NHS. I bumped into the director of NHSX at a conference and I got his details and now I'm, and I wanted to do some work experience and, and shadowing essentially. Now, if you're wondering what has this day been about, well, for one of my modules, um, we've had to basically film a video for the module and that's how we're assessed essentially. No exams, nothing. It used to be exams, but um, they realized that exams aren't the best way to, to teach and to learn. So they try to make it interactive and now we have a video. We're watching the video, today is the assessment day. We're watching the videos back and in front of everyone. It's very good stuff, like it's, it's, I enjoy this sort of stuff. Like obviously I make YouTube videos and whatnot, but just generally like interactive or different innovative ways of learning and, and assessing is really good, I think. And tomorrow we have a debate. So later on, me and my group will be preparing for our debate technology and how technology can impact health inequalities in the UK so who are you? How'd you get in? Sounds like you need some help. Security! Relax, relax, relax. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm the ghost of business past and I'm here to show you the error of your ways. What error? Who sent you? Maria sent me. Who's Maria? Who are you looking at? Oh, enough talking. Let's go. What's going on? I'm confused. Take a look inside. That's me. How is that me? That's you from three months ago. You're interviewing candidates. Just head inside and pay attention. Okay. They can't see you. They can't hear you. What's the whole point of this then? Just sit back, observe, and I'm going to show you where you went wrong. So thank you for answering all those questions. Just one final thing, we're actually hiring for secretaries and have you thought about applying? Well, looks like my work here is done. Thank you very much. Oh, I think I've got this one. Can I add a word here? The ghost of business for <laughs> Oh, what did I say? Got this one? Accurate. And then the other thing is, from a Chinese point of view, the pound is trash. It's unfortunate. So yeah, it's six, no, half five, and we're still working on this debate. This is ridiculous. So, like I said, yeah, we have the debate tomorrow. It is now what time is it? It's nearly nine. It's nearly nine p.m. and we're still here. My group is here, there's a, few, a lot of other groups still Yo. here in the building yeah. working on their debate uh, for tomorrow the because this is worth three times what the video yeah, just, assignment just is worth. So everyone's doing? like stressing. Oh, 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 you know what? I'm not even stressed. I'm just know, hungry. Like and that's the truth. I'm just hungry and angry. Right? Hungry, apparently is the word. I will eat and I will crack on. Until I run out and they haven't even started have rehearsals yet. They'll be here till the morning. They're not going home tonight Just saying bro. We won the video project and we're gonna win this Just know he this. didn't even know that for a fact yet <laughs> Technology is advancing so quickly. It's very likely that telemedicine will expand in the next few years. And um, Babylon is so new, it was only established in 20.
Okay, so thank you to my fellow speakers for their compelling arguments. Um, and as Sahil mentioned, yes, there are a small percentage of the population that are digitally illiterate. You're correct, Sahil. But did you know that the NHS is aware of this and there are a digital wide participation scheme where 160,000 people have benefited from these ethnic minorities and disabled backgrounds? Now, sadly, today, yes, there are several health inequalities that do exist in our healthcare system. But I think that digital health is the first step towards combating these. Now, a few examples that we mentioned are wearables that can predict negative outcomes in poverty associated conditions. Okay? And then we have automated devices which can help increase compliance, uh, help the doctors increase compliance with their patients. And then we have the apps that allow the most remote citizens access a doctor from the comfort of their own homes. So before I leave, one last point. Now, the NHS was founded on the principle of providing free healthcare for all. Currently, we aren't there yet. But I think that technology is a push that can help us get there. So I implore all of you to vote, and please vote for this motion. Vote to reduce inequalities and vote for <coughs> labour. <laughs>